I'm here right now with Gary Spencer, who is the owner of Spencer's Holdies Limited. Welcome, Gary. Yes, I make your art. Yeah, good. good. So, Gary, just kick us off and tell us a bit about Spencer's Holdies Limited. Um, Spencer's Holdies Limited, well, it's, it's in the fifth year of its life. Um, started off just myself. Um, went into... Oh, it's been... Bit of background by myself, been in the transport industry most of my life, transport manager, um, working for companies, big blue chip companies, decided to go out on my own, really. And I went out, bought a trailer and rented a truck. And it's all happened from there. So, yeah. So uh, what do you enjoy about it? Um, <clears throat> what do I enjoy about it? So I've enjoyed growing the business if I'm honest with you, um, because it's taken me on a journey where I've gone into driving a truck, to coming out of a truck, to employing um, staff, um, including my daughters, one of them, which has been good, um, and giving giving back yeah, to the local community with employing drivers and just growing it, just naturally growing it. Mm. It's, you know, it's business itself. So what type of customers are you working <clears throat> with? Um, our customer base is... Um, we do, it's a mixture between recycling and um, sort of like engineered products for the nuclear industry. So we've just actually taken on another customer today, um, secured good. some work up to Sellafield, so, which is good. Um, and, the new, and the recycling industry, we do all sorts. Our biggest customer is Novellis, which are based in Warrington, but we do, we have other sort of recycling companies that... Keep keep the continuity of the business going, and we have other other sort of like angles to the business as well, where we have uh, events through the summer where we get involved in um, the you know, PGA tour, golf tour, and we're just getting on board with the Champions League stuff into Europe, and then we've just branched out back end of last year into the uh, bulk tipper world where we successfully gained our task registration to deliver food grain um, and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's all good. Lots going on, yeah. Yeah. So as you, you're growing, obviously, um, what type of customers are you looking to uh, deal with going forward uh, that you're not with right now? Um, probably I'd like to build build up the engineering sort of like manufacturing side of things um, because the they're good, they're good customers to kind of pre-plan. They're not sort of like knee-jerk, so it's, it's good work to be able to slot in and, and build a, other routes and deliveries around it. So, yeah, manufacturing and engineering are non-specific off the top of made at the moment. Um, to share with you, we have got some networking going on where um, we're trying to build that kind of a customer base. But, uh, yeah, that's probably that side of it, really. So for, um, for any potential um business out there right now who's watching this video uh what would you say differentiates spencer's holders limited from other holders companies um well i have had it mentioned by one of our customers that they get actually get to speak to a, a business owner or somebody of knowledge uh straight to the business owner in in the office because you know we pride ourselves on on, on being on everybody's being hands-on we, you're not just another planner in an office where you could be speaking to anybody um you don't really know you know you don't, you don't really know who you're dealing with did they actually know you've got a personal touch with us um so yeah i would say that that really okay brilliant so um obviously uh, you, you you were uh, in business um when covid happened when the pandemic pandemic happened mm -hmm. how was that for you and how did it change things going forward? Um, first and foremost, it wiped 100% of my business out um, because the customer that I had, he shut doors. Um, I kind of had a one customer doing round robins for him. He shut his doors, basically. But So I don't know. It kind of it did get me into other areas. It, I was in a bit of a comfort zone pre the pandemic, if I'm honest with you. Um, so it kind of pushed me out of that comfort zone to go and look for other business and open my mind to other, you know, other sort of like business to work to look for for the business, yeah. Uh, you've certainly done that, Gary. Yeah, yeah. That sounds a bit. Good yeah. stuff. So what does the future look like? 
Uh, pretty good, yeah, pretty good. We've got we've got quite a, a decent growth plan. Um, you know, we've got so we're looking at other areas or other arenas to venture into um, to give us another branch of towards Spencer's All Age Limited, I suppose. You know, it's not just general All Age and food. We're going to go into other other arenas where I don't know. Yeah, we brings other opportunities. Good stuff. Um... So along the way, Gary, that those four, four, four to five years, you're in your fifth year now. What, what have you learned about yourself along the way? Um, what have I learned? <clears throat> I've lost air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on age, yeah. Uh, what have I learned? Um, I, I don't know. I think I always kind of knew I had, had it in me to my work ethic. My work ethic's always been good. It's been, you know, I've always put strong effort into my work. So. I knew I'd make it succeed in one way or another. It's just been nice to see it, I suppose, and probably give myself a little bit of pat on the back for it, really. Um, yeah, you don't really get time to stop and thank yourself or appreciate what you've done. And I think that's probably mostly what I've learned from it. Um, yeah, and just that I can actually do it, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well done. And um, looking back with the benefit of hindsight, knowing what you now know, yeah. What might you have done differently? What might I have done differently? Um, what might I have done differently? Probably, if I'm honest, but it's, it's all about having big kahunas, isn't it? I'd have probably gone out and gone, gone full, full ball, like, you know, and, and but maybe bought a neutral and believed in myself a little bit more, really, because it's hard in, in, in our industry where... You, you kind of buy in second and tackle and and it some fails, you know. So I might I've probably I don't know, I've probably gone for it a bit more. Um yeah. It's just belief, isn't it? You build that yeah. belief on the way you get along the along the way, really, I suppose. Um I don't think there's anything else really I'd have done differently. Um yeah, it's all about belief and it you build your belief as you go along. So I'm sure you'll build, bring that belief into the next stage of your journey, Gary. Yeah, that's 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 the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for sharing your views. Okay, no problem. Thank you.